Welcome to this ASP.NET video tour of Master Pages and Site Navigation. Master Pages are used to control the overall design of your site. Multiple child or content pages will inherit this visual design. And by editing the Master Page, it automatically updates all the content pages that use it. Master Pages are also a good spot to place the new site navigation controls. We're going to cover that towards the end of this video. Well, Master Pages are a pretty simple concept to master. Uh, let's start by creating a simple uh, a sample site, master pages, and um, what we'll do, let's ignore the default page for a minute, we'll go and create a master page, and for all intents and purposes it looks like a regular HTML page, um, but remember this page will be used as the overall template for all the rest of the child pages, and so um, as we go I'm also going to give you a demonstration or show you a lot of the new features of the HTML editor. So uh, let's let's give ourselves a title, Master Pages Demo, and that title will be used by all of our pages. Um, I'm going to import some existing images and files into our project. So let me go ahead and do that. I have these in my documents, images. I have a couple of pictures that we're going to use, as well as a style sheet. So style sheets, this is a great spot to add that, so all of our pages will inherit that simple style sheet. Um, I could also go and make changes to styles, which I'll be doing, um, showing a couple different ways. Um, here's a, a nice feature for the HTML editor, the, the document outline, that's this guy right here. So I can go through and click and select different items here. Let's say I want to change some of the body styles, um, like I want the left margin of zero and the top margin of zero. This will make my page snap to the very top left corner of the browser. Um, then I, as we get down here, we notice this, this control here called the content placeholder. If we go to the design mode, you'll see the content placeholder. Um, this will be where the, the child pages put their content. I don't want it here yet because it kind of gets in the way of my overall master page design. So I'll just delete it and we'll add it back shortly. Um, so now I have a simple blank page with nothing but a title and a style sheet. Um, let's start by inserting a table. This table structure uh, will mimic our overall site design. Now it's kind of strange. I have a top and up here as well. I'll put some kind of site header information and here I'll have a footer um, and in the middle is where the menu and the content will go. Now that's not a lot of space for content so let's go ahead and change that. I'm going to drop the content placeholder in. We'll see that. We'll see how that works again shortly. Let me make a few more changes here. We don't need this much space for the footer. So I'll put something a little more reasonable here. Copyright Alt 0169 gives you the copyright symbol. It's a good thing to remember. Um, master uh, some company. And let's see, over here in the menu area, why don't we change a couple styles. First we'll align that to the top of that little square and let's change the background color to light gray and finally I'll give it uh, I want to make sure it's a minimum of 300 pixels or set it right to 300 okay that's better now up in the header area um, some of the new table design features as you saw we were able to insert a table but from here you can insert another row so I have another row right above where um, I can, I don't know, let's go change the style here. I'll make the background a darker color. And to make it look interesting, we'll change the bottom edge to a solid color. Let's make it thick. Make this um, olive. Okay. And finally, in this row right here, let's insert a cell to our left. And this will nicely align above our menu there's where I will put this home picture and I need to change the style in that cell as well and have it align so it's centered so the horizontal alignment centered good and I'll be making a few more tweaks as we go so I um, also have a little picture I can put up at the top and we'll put something else here next to the picture shortly when I get to the I'll show you some other features here and finally we'll have a header master pages demo. Okay, well let's see what this looks like. Um, well, we can't actually look at it, even though it looks like HTML. 
it has this strange master um, syntax there at the end. We need a child page for it. There's a couple ways to do that. I can use the existing default page that was created when we had our site first built and to, you, to kind of attach an existing page to that master page we simply delete everything then go up here and start and then we wired up to the master page file equals master page as you can tell from that dialog we could have multiple master pages in fact you can nest master pages but I'll just go with this for now so that's it we have our first web page if we switch to the design view you can see that all the master page content is grayed out and our content is going to go right here in the middle so this is our default content and so let me um, we, we can have some default content. In this case it's empty so it doesn't make a lot of sense. I have to kind of create my own instance of a content placeholder by choosing create custom content. Now I can start typing. This is the default home page for the site. And if we switch back to source mode you see it made a content placeholder for us. Now we're ready to view this. Okay, still pretty bare bones but um, you can see it works. Our, our default page is really just that text and it lives within the context of all this stuff. Um, I want to make a couple of changes. I want this to align to the top and I'll make a couple more HTML changes like I'd like to get this empty space gone. So let's leave that there. Um, that empty space is coming from that non-breaking space and if I want to align this cell to the top I go to the text and make the vertical align to top. Um, I also know from experience I'm going to have to change this master pages demo right there by um, setting the column span to 1 and height equal to 100%. I'm sorry, width equal to 100%. Now, if we go back here and hit refresh, we should get rid of that empty space, and that's looking better. A um, couple more quick changes. I want to put, well, that's too narrow, but. We'll fix that in a minute. I want to have a nice little line here separating the master page area from here. Now remember earlier I showed you this thing at the bottom down here. When I click the master page demo area, um, you can see I'm really inside the H2 tag. I want to be inside the TR tag because that's the table row. For that table row, I select that. And then I can go to the properties style section and go and modify the, uh, the edges like I did earlier and go to the bottom make it a solid thin line and set that color equal to like this like so the silver color so using this little piece here at the bottom allows you to narrow in and select exactly the, the kind of row or content that you want now when I hit refresh I should have that little line Ah, that's looking better finally we need a menu so this is pretty cool we're gonna switch now out, out of kind of master page demo and HTML creation into the new navigation features of ASP.NET 2.0 so if I collapse this, you can see over here on the navigation side, we have three new server controls, the sitemap path, a menu, and a tree view. Um, these all rely on a sitemap a description of what your site looks like, so some kind of hierarchical representation in XML of what your site looks like. 